Hi, and welcome to this Leverage Technologies presentation of Excel integration in SAP Business One version 9.1. Very often we want to create data in Excel and import this into SAP Business One, or we want to take data from within SAP Business One, perhaps export it to Microsoft Excel, do some data manipulation, and potentially push that back in. Examples of this might be a journal entry or a sales quotation, for example. The good news is that in SAP Business One 9.1, there have been a number of enhancements with regards to Excel integration, you know, Microsoft Excel integration to and from SAP Business One. And this can make our life a lot easier with regards to various aspects of the import and export of data. Let's have a quick look at how this uh, might work uh, in this instance. So let's go into, for example, a sales quotation. I created one a little bit earlier today for the Shaker Corporation, and I've got a number of items on this particular sales quotation. Now, a couple of new things you'll notice in SAP Business One 9.1. The first thing is I right click and I can maximize or restore the grid size. As I do that, I can see now that the grid is maximized, which makes it easier to review the data in question. Now, of course, if I right click, I can see copy table. So let's do exactly that. We'll copy table. We'll now go into Microsoft Excel. And what we'll do is we'll paste that into Excel. So what you can see now is we've taken the grid from within SAP Business One, we've maximized the grid to review it, and now we've brought it into um, Microsoft Excel. Now we can use typical Microsoft Excel functionality. So for example, find where the word is, for example, laptop as it may be, or something along those lines. So I can go in and I can use typical Excel type functionality. But what I'll do here, let's just for demonstration purposes, We'll go into the top item just for simplicity's sake. It's currently at $875. What we might do is we'll change that to $900. Um, and we'll change the item below to $500. A simple example for demonstration purposes. Now what we'll do is we'll take that. We'll copy. We'll go into SAP Business One and we'll paste those new numbers in. So what we've seen there is the unit price has now been updated for both the Office Print 1420 and 1186. So let's just right click, restore the grid, there it is. So what we've seen there, very quick example, we've opened up a sales quotation, we've maximized the grid on the sales quotation, we've exported it to Microsoft Excel, We've changed some of the data and have re-imported that into the sales quotation in SAP Business One. Let's update that transaction. Another example of this might be for a um, example, if we go into the financials for a journal entry. So let's just go back in. Let's copy this particular journal entry. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go along here. I'm going to let's just delete this. Let's open up a new uh, document and let's put that into Microsoft Excel. Now what we might do is we might play around with the numbers, we might add some accounts, etc. When it comes time then to create my new journal entry, I simply copy, I go back into SAP Business One, journal entry, Right click, paste, and the journal entry is created for me. So what we've seen there, as an example, I copied a previous journal entry. I exported it to Microsoft Excel. I could have then changed the numbers, made some new accounts, added some uh, additional data, and then re-imported it. The importance of the demonstration is export from Excel, potentially change the data, re-import. So what we're seeing is great functionality in SAP 9.1 that allows us to export to and from 
Microsoft Excel. Nice, simple, just making it that much easier for the users in areas like finance and sales in terms of that usability to and from Microsoft Excel. That's just one of the many great new functions and features in SAP Business One 9.1. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Please don't forget that there are a number of other presentations and demonstrations available on our website at leveragetech.com.au. Thanks for watching.